The following is a paid political advertisement. Hi friends! As a conservative Republican with libertarian leanings, I've been paying close attention to the presidential election of 2008. I thought I had found my candidate in Texas Congressman Ron Paul. But unfortunately, at my weekly Ron Paul meetup here in Mobile, Alabama, someone brought up something that made me very upset. Apparently, Ron Paul is a racist and an anti-Semite. Let me read you a few things that Ron Paul has said regarding minorities. Reporting on gang crime in Los Angeles, Paul said, if you have ever been robbed by a black teenaged male, you know how unbelievably fleet-footed they can be. While talking about the District of Columbia, he said, I think we can safely assume that 95% of the black males in that city are semi-criminal or entirely criminal. On the subject of young black men, he said, we don't think a child of 13 should be held responsible as a man of 23. That's true for most people. But black males age 13 who have been raised on the streets and who have joined criminal gangs are as big, strong, tough, scary, and culpable as any adult and should be treated as such. He's also an anti-Semite. Here he is talking about the Jews. By far, the most powerful lobby in Washington, of the bad sort, is the Israeli government, and that the goal of the Zionist movement is to stifle criticism. And also, Mr. Paul believes that the only racists smart enough to embezzle are whites and Asians. So, my friends, in Ron Paul's world, the U.S. was responsible for 9-11. Black kids should be treated as adults in criminal cases. Asians are embezzling Americans. And the Jews control D.C. I'm really upset with you, Mr. Paul. I thought you were the one for me. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to look for another candidate because I will not vote for a racist and an anti-Semite. Thank you, and God bless America. I'm really Rick, and I approved this message.